retired Sergeant Brendan Morocco is the first quadruple amputee to survive his injuries in Iraq. He spent the last four years adapting to that title, but now he has a new one. Petty Officer Kevin O'Brien has this amazing story. I never really uh, accepted the fact that uh, I didn't have arms. So now that I have them again, it's, uh, it's almost like it never happened. Uh, it's like I, I went back four years and, and uh, I'm, I'm me again. And uh, it's awesome. Six weeks ago, doctors performed what just a few years ago would have been considered a miracle. They gave a man a new set of arms. I can rotate a little bit. Uh, this arm is pretty much uh, uh, not much movement at all, uh, not yet. In a 13-hour procedure, a 16-member team of doctors from Johns Hopkins, the Curtis National Hand Center in Baltimore, and the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center connected bone, muscles, blood vessels, and nerves from the arms of a donor. The former Army Sergeant's left arm was attached below the elbow. The right was closer to his shoulder. He also received bone marrow from the donor, decreasing the likelihood of rejection. The nerves regenerate at a maximum speed of one inch per month. So considering where we did the transplant and where the nerves were connected, there are many, many inches and indeed many, many months and a couple years for that matter before function will return. Morocco was driving the last vehicle in a four vehicle convoy when he was struck by an explosively formed projectile or EFP and credits the army medic he calls Sergeant Kenny and major advances in army medicine was saving his life. Now he has a new team to thank for improving it. I was feeling great before this and uh, feeling a lot better now. I wasn't the only one looking forward to it. Um, I have to say everyone in my family was definitely uh, definitely excited and uh, it doesn't only change my life, it changes theirs too. I said they're beautiful. <laughs> it was my, uh, I just looked at them, felt them and they're just beautiful, there was no other word. He said, are they pretty ma? I said, they're so pretty. <laughs> You have that visual of him just sitting there working away with his nubs, uh, and then to see him, you know, with fully outstretched arms like that, you know, it, it was emotional. I cried. Uh, I'll admit it, I cried. Doctors say post-op tissues are still healing, and the most difficult part of their task may be keeping Morocco from reaching too far when encouraged to demonstrate his new extremities. I'm very glad that uh, Brendan is looking to us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which shows he's still following instructions. When you're around, at least. <laughs> Petty Officer Kevin O'Brien, TPC but News. We do want the, the former Army Sergeant will endure about six hours of sometimes painful rehabilitation therapy daily for as long as two years.